Hey, what's going on? So Lego has canceled another set and it is this one here. Remember the Crooks Hideout or Crooks Hideout Raid set? We got a little sneak peek of it in the back of an instruction manual back in uh, late December 2020, early January 2021, something like that. And it was going to be the the last in, a, in an initial chain of sets that connect to the new road system, the new road plate system. But it ended up never coming out. And now Lego has officially let us know. They have officially announced that they are not going to be releasing that set. Naturally, there's a ton of speculation out there about why this is happening or why this has happened. And all of that speculation is baseless and I'm not going to say wrong, but made up because Lego hasn't told us what's actually going on or, or why. All they've told us is the following marketing speak. They say, with Lego, we always aim to represent the reality of the world in a way that is fun, positive, and appropriate for kids. With this in mind, we have decided not to launch this product, as we no longer feel it is in keeping with the values of the Lego City brand. Also, a man has fallen into a river of PR <laughs> in Lego City. So what does this actually say? It, uh, nothing. I, I mean, honestly, it's, it's PR speak. It has to be PR speak. This is how companies have to work because if they say too much, if they are too specific and they're not absolutely perfect in it, and not every single word is gone through with a fine tooth comb by huge teams of lawyers, somebody out there on the internet will make a big stink about it on, on Twitter and it'll become an absolute mess. So I, I get it. I understand this. It, it sucks. It's corporate dumbness as far as consumers are concerned this says absolutely nothing to us other than they decided not to put the set out okay so i'm gonna speculate because i can and you should not listen to what i say here because i don't have any inside information i don't have any actual facts about this any more than anybody else out there does but i'm going to tell you what i think about this and, and why i think lego has actually decided to cancel this particular set right here. You see, I look at it and I see that this is a bomb factory in a semi-realistic, the closest that Lego has to a realistic setting within their, their major themes. A bomb factory. I mean, right there is a cherry bomb with a smile on it and a wink. Okay, in universe, this is probably supposed to be a, a fireworks factory that's been taken over by the bad guys you know it's been taken over by by the crooks what are they doing they're making bombs they're making ieds and okay for a long long time criminals in the lego city world have run around with cartoon sticks of dynamite bundles of dynamite tnt whatever they, they've done that in Minecraft. We have TNT <laughs> that you can that you can make and you can blow things up. And and Lego does that in their Lego Minecraft line as well. But I personally do feel like this is a bit more than that. I'm not going to opine as to whether it is too much. I can see how it could be seen as too much, though. It's definitely more than what they've done before in the way of putting explosives out into the hands of bad people in a what's supposed to be a semi-realistic setting for kids and it's not necessarily a good idea that's that's what i think about it other people can think whatever they want to think you can think what you want to think and you can share in the comments down below what you think but i encourage you not to take my word as the most sensible one not to take my word or anybody's word as the right answer this isn't one of those cases where we can just sit down and be like oh we all know what what it really is all about no we don't we absolutely do not and of course you know nowadays there are going to be a ton of theories out there that go way off in in into political extremes and you know go off into the social politics and stuff and oh it's because of police and you know the the current atmosphere, I don't think it has anything to do with police. Maybe it does. I don't think that it does personally. I think that it's just a Lego bomb factory in a realistic setting owned by criminals. <laughs> and that was a really bad idea in the first place. 
What's more interesting here uh, to me is that Lego has once again, in a very short span of time, uh, repeated a mistake of fully developing a product to the point where they have it in marketing images, official marketing images that went out with existing products. You know, this isn't, this wasn't a leak. This was not a leak. This was, this was printed by Lego. This is an official image from Lego. And after the product was fully developed and ready to go to market and market head, then they only figured out that they shouldn't be doing it for whatever, for whatever reason, right? It's the same sort of thing that happened with the Osprey, the V22 Osprey, which was absolutely 100%, 1000% not taken off the market because of one little gear that they needed one extra gear. Too many times they have fixed errors that they made with design. Even much later on, they'll fix errors with de design. They will issue parts pack, they, parts packs, they will issue corrections and everything. Everybody was saying that the V22 Osprey was canceled because of that one little small gear on it that can wear out easily. I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to make, I'm going to take a strong stance on that one. I'm going to say they are wrong. I'm not, that's not my opinion. I'm going to say they are wrong. That was canceled because it should never have been made in the first place. And I'm willing to bet that this should never have been made in the first place. The set. It should never have made it through all of the internal review processes at Lego that are required to get something actually to market, to get something from an idea all the way out to the point of this, of having box art complete and being marketed and thus ready to put on the market. Shouldn't have happened in the first place. So I see this more than anything as more evidence of Lego being stuck in a bubble <laughs> over there in, in, uh, in Denmark. I have, I have made fun of them for this in, in the past a number of times, and I'm going to continue doing it because they keep showing evidence that what I believe is true, that they are fooling themselves internally. They are not in touch with reality. I mean, if they can convince themselves and whole many, 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 many teams can convince themselves that a V-22 Osprey licensed a 100% military vehicle is not a 100% military vehicle because there's a sticker on it that says rescue, then clearly something is going wrong. So the biggest issue here for me is that uh, Lego needs to wake up. They need to get a little bit more in touch with reality. They need to become a lot more consistent internally. They need to apply their own internal rules consistently across the board, across all their many disparate uh, uh, product divisions. And they need to be a little bit more on, no, a lot more on the ball. And they need to not be canceling things this far along. You know, this should never have reached a point where any of us knew that ex it existed in in the first place um am i sad that we're not going to get this building a little bit because it you know we don't get that many industrial looking buildings like this is you know this is a a, a decent chunk of of structure to use as part of a of a city to to build up you know to build up a little bit of an industrial area however this is a five plus it was going to be a five plus set was it not Oh, six plus set. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, fancy, fancy six plus set. So not complex. Anybody who wants to build that can. Lego does not owe this to us. Lego did not owe this to us. I don't feel like uh, any, any major harm has been done to the Lego fan community uh, by having this withheld. The only thing that we actually lose here is the black version of the, the harness for a seeing eye dog, which here is being used as a, as a, as a harness for a K9 unit, letter K number nine. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm sure that they will release that part in that color in another set in the future. And it probably won't even take that long. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else here that's particularly special. Thus again, anybody who wanted to make this still can, uh, it's easy to brick link the pieces. Probably most of the folks who really, really want this already have the pieces if if you don't it's easy to get them and yeah that's that there's really no drama to it other than probably internal at lego <laughs> there's there's drama to it i don't see 
major political things behind it or anything. It just seems like a, another really bad idea that got too far, way too far within the company and shouldn't have shouldn't have reached the, the light of day in the first place. Those are my thoughts, but feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Try to be a little bit reasonable about it. You know, don't go too crazy down the 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 rabbit holes that people on the internet can tend to do these days. It's just a bunch of pieces of plastic. It's just fun stuff. And this is just one particular set that we happen to not be getting here. It's not the end of the world. And it's, I don't think anything to, you know, fight or really super be upset about my opinion though. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.